Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with the May 2021 card kit from Simon Says Stamp. It literally just showed up, so I lost no time getting back home so I could film this. This is the Dandelion Messages card kit and it is fabulous absolutely absolutely fabulous you get an emboss a 3d embossing folder which is designed by Kath Breen so you get an embossing folder you get neon glitz glitter gel this is the Rena K electro pop uh, by thermal web there was a pink neon one in a recent kit and mine ran off i just had it sitting here anyway love them they're so bright like so bright just they're fun i like all like all the ones i've tried the thermal web glitter gels are amazing candy as always this one's a banana one Ooh. i always set the side to save for later let's get those there is this little wafer die. This is the Simon Dandelion wafer die. I'm I'm so excited about this kit. I have a soft spot for dandelions. You know, my kids like picking me little little bouquets of dandelions, you know, that sort of a thing. So I just I love them. <laughs> and then these are two pieces from the Tim Holtz Ideology Accoutrements to Fanciful pack. Oh, those are pretty. I won't use these on cards. Although, and I'm, okay, so one thing you can do, because these are the type of, like, these ones are buttons. I assume they're all, like, a form of button. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is plastic. It might make it a little iffy if you do that with this one. I know it's possible with this one. But with things like, depending on what you're trying to adhere them to, is using really strong clippers and clipping off that little piece that you normally would use to thread and just cutting it off so that it's a little a little you know because you can't really stick that to a card unless you're gonna thread it through it would look really cute if you threaded it through like some hemp cord you know you could thread that through and then tie it in a cute little bow that would work as well but I'm I'm honestly just gonna hoard these because I think they're so pretty they're really pretty so I'm just gonna hoard those because I like them and I might have to get a pack of them now because yeah so anyway um stamp set which i love this is the dandelion messages stamp set again something about dandelion images and also just like silhouette style images so you can stamp these heat emboss them in white stamp them in black stamp them in color like do whatever you want and then you get a bunch of sentiments i really like these like kind of mix and match font ones missing our chat summer dreaming thank you for thinking of us thank you for thinking of me our friendship means the world to me i like this one yeah, this is a really good, I'm so happy. Anyway, it's got that <laughs> all over the place. And then 12 single-sided sheets of Creative Expressions Dandelion Dreams pattern paper. Oh, I really like these, this color blend. And that one. This is really pretty. Yeah, and it's eight, eight by eight inches. Oh, these are really pretty papers. Oh. Oh, these are really nice. I'm loving these like rainbows and blends and all of it. All of it. It's so pretty. I like. Oh, I like these. Oh, that's really pretty. So fun. So you get those. You get a sheet of the Tim Holtz Ideology. Uh, this is the rose gold and copper craft paper pad. I have like full paper pads of this stuff. It's so nice because it's all foily. But the Tim Holtz papers are done like on a craft and they're not super rigid. So you can use them in 3D embossing folders. I've die cut with them, all that stuff. And then if you want to get more like grunge with them, you can like emboss and then like sand, you know, so then it'll expose the craft. Like, again, check out Tim Holt's videos. He's done like all kinds of videos because like there's things you can do with this with using like distressed paints and all that kind of stuff. But 
I like the rose gold. It's really pretty. It's one of my favorites. So you get that. Um, you get Simon Says Stamp envelopes. Fabulous envelopes. This one's metallic. And then Simon Says Stamp cardstock as well, which all like coordinates nicely with the pattern papers. So yeah, love it. Love this kit. At the exact moment, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> but with the magic of editing, you guys can keep watching and I will have a card showing, yeah, what I decide to do. I just, I have ideas. They're just kinda running all over the place. So as always, I will link to the kit, to the subscription, um, to everything that's available individually. And then, yeah, stay tuned and we'll see what I make with it. Okay, so I went pretty simple with these cards. Still got a million ideas, but decided to start simple and then I'll go from there. <laughs> so I used one of the patterns that come in the kit. I just, oh, I really love these papers. So I took this rainbow, to me this looks like a sky. So I took it and started trimming it down. These papers aren't exactly eight by eight, which is fine. I just had to do a little bit of fiddling. So I trimmed them down to like, it was around eight inches by three inches, roughly. So I got two pieces. So I'm like, great, I can make two slimline cards with this. And then the other little bit that was left over, I trimmed it in half and I'll get to that later. And then I put the pattern paper into my Misty and I stamped this cluster of dandelion images using Versafine Claire Nocturne ink, just a nice, super black ink. And because a little bit of OCD, I didn't like how the stems didn't go all the way to the bottom. So I just took a black marker, wrote them in with my little uh, tuxedo memento black marker that I have used for a um, bajillion years. Um, black pen, black marker, anything's really gonna work. So I just used that to just draw in that last little bit on those two middle stems just to finish it off. And then these I technically set aside to dry, but actually came back to it the next day. Um, Versafine Clair inks on, like when I stamp them on watercolor paper, that sort of thing, I don't have a problem with it. But when I stamp with them on like color cardstock or pattern papers, be careful, like let them dry or heat set them. I didn't want to heat set because I didn't want to warp the pattern paper because it's so thin, but it does take a while to dry. Learn from my experience because I have <laughs> smeared so many things so many times. So I let them completely dry and then I put them in my splat box because you gotta add some splatter. So I'm using my Gonsai Tombi Starry Colors. I sprayed some water in the one little pan and then swirled it up really, really good with my paintbrush and then just added that gold splatter. And I just, it just gave it that little extra something. I had thought about doing white splatter, but I'm glad I went with gold. It just went, gold goes with everything. You guys know me. Anyway, set those aside to dry. And then to pull in more of that gold, I took some scraps of black cardstock. And again, using my Misty, I'm gonna stamp sentiments from that set onto the black cardstock with clear embossing ink. So I'd used my anti-static powder tool, brushed off the excess, inked up the stamps with clear embossing ink, and I just stamped it and then flipped it around, stamped it a second time since I'm doing two cards. And then I'm melting that with my heat tool. And then I repeated the process with another sentiment from the set. And then sometimes, and it's usually only with black cardstock, if I still feel like I can see that anti-static powder, um, I just rub my hands over it. It removes it. Uh, a Swiffer cloth also works really well. Or if you have a dry baby wipe, I showed that in a recent video, using it to wipe off a stamp. But that works too, to remove that like kind of white cast that anti-static powder can leave. And then I trimmed down all those sentiments with my paper trimmer. And I also trimmed my card bases, which were Simon's heavyweight 120 pound cardstock. So I trimmed these to seven inches by eight and a half. I will be scoring them at three and a half in a little bit. So they'll be three and a half inch by eight and a half inch slimline cards. And like I said, the pattern paper wasn't exact. So I kind of somewhat eyeballed it to cut some of that lavender cardstock that comes in the kit slightly larger than the pattern paper pieces so that those can mat and just give it that little extra something. And then I pulled out my Xyron 
um, little tape runner. I haven't used a tape runner in forever. I've been using liquid glue 24 seven in all my videos, but these were simple cards. I'm not using foam tape and you know, all the stuff I like to do. So it's like tape runner. I forgot how sticky <laughs> this tape runner is. It holds very well. I, I had to pay attention to adhering things like straight and yeah. I like though, I forgot also how much quicker things go when you're using a tape runner versus like liquid glue, etc. So anywho, I did have to trim down those mats a little bit, just, you know, those little slivers of cardstock just to even them out a bit. And then the sentiments, I also adhered with the tape runner. These end up being very flat, easily mailable cards, you know? Sometimes I like that. Sometimes I like all the dimension, you know, I don't have a problem paying extra for postage because the whole point is like the process and brightening someone's day. But sometimes it's fun to see what I can do. Just keeping, this is about as clean and simple as I can get. <laughs> so anywho, card bases, like I said, scored at three and a half. So three and a half by eight and a half inches. Before I adhere anything, I'm going to fold them inside out, put them back in my Misty, and I'm going to line up that image again. And I didn't realize I can see it looking at the editing, that little top spot of the stamp I didn't clean properly. So there's still black ink there, but I don't notice it till right after I stamp this with Simon's lavender ink. But again, I'm okay with it. It's not the end of the world. It just, I just go with it. Not going to waste all the cardstock. So I inked up the image a second time with that lavender ink stamped on the inside of the other card. And then those second sentiments I had heat embossed and trimmed, I adhered. And then this is where I adhered that remaining little bit of that pattern paper, just to kind of the inside left of the fold, just to give it that little extra something and rather than waste those. And because again, I love, I love this paper. There's something about like rainbow colors and just pretty blends and all of this. Like I honestly was thinking, I was like, ooh, I haven't done like a rainbowy pastel-y watercolor blend background in a long time. And this paper just one, you don't have to do it then if you're not into watercolor, but also it just inspired me. So might have to do that one of these days, but anywho, I adhered the card fronts to the card bases just with that Xyron tape runner. And then I pulled out some lemon chiffon uh, slimline envelopes from my stash. I was just gonna have just the envelopes, but I'm like, wait a minute, gotta stamp them with this image as well. Cause that'll just look so perfect. And it does. I love this set. I love this stamp set. It's just so pretty. So inked it up with that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, stamped it onto both of these envelopes and that's it. I'm not adding any embellishments. I just, I wanted the color and the blend, just that idea of a sky, you know, and that little bit of gold splatter. Again, this is as clean and simple, I think, as I can manage <laughs> without adding everything and then some. So those are my cards. Like I mentioned earlier, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. I'll have the pictures in my blog post. I'll have picture links in my blog post, supplies, etc. All of that is linked directly below the video in the description. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to those that subscribe and thumbs up, comment, share, all of it. I very much appreciate you all. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.